Do you know what is average salary of front-end developer in India? That is 12 lakh per annum. And how much remote front-end developer earn? That is 40k dollars to 75k dollar per year. And one more interesting thing is anyone can learn front-end development within six months with the right guidance and mentorship. And I can provide that right guidance and mentorship for free of cost to you. If this excites you, do watch this video till end. Welcome everyone to study front-end developer essential course. In this course, we are going to learn basics of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Git, and GitHub from scratch. To make this course more interesting, I will provide you 20 plus assignments to practice what you learn, 10 plus cheat sheets to revise and reinforce your knowledge, and 100 plus courses to test your understanding. Many people who start learning front-end development or any skill are not able to complete that because they lost their progress. To track your progress, you can you have to update your progress in the Google Sheet. Whatever assignments and projects you build, you have to update your progress in the Google Sheet. Now, if you have any doubts or questions related to assignments or project, you can ask your query in the WhatsApp community. Once you complete your assignment or your project, you can share your project and assignment on LinkedIn and Twitter with the hashtag FrontendWithVishal to make yourself more consistent and accountable. Additionally, we will provide you the resume building, personal branding and doubt clearing weekly session. Also, I will bring industry experts um, to provide you the best learning experience. After completing the first batch, you will promote it to the batch 2 where we will learn about the advanced topic of front-end development such as React libraries. Now let's understand how to access this code, how to start learning and how to uh, access the assignments, uses and the cheat sheet. So first of all we will start learning HTML. HTML is the structure of the website so we will first understand what is HTML, how to add heading, paragraph, images, link, table. Um, forms um, in the HTML. So for that we will watch this HTML crash course in 14 minutes and after watching this course you have to revise everything. For revision you can access the HTML cheat sheet where you find all the code mentioned in the video. So this will help you to revise everything uh, whatever covered in the video in just two minutes. So once you complete that you have to come back and you have to solve the assignments. So once you watch the HTML video and uh, revise your uh, code to cheat sheet, now it's time to put your knowledge to practice assignments. So first of all, we will create the list assignment. In this, you have to create the first timeline of American history. You can take any timeline. Let's say you want to show your education timeline. So when did you join your primary school? When did you join your secondary school? Your college or whatever course you are learning. Okay. Then you can add your restaurant menu. So if you see in this task, you have the list and inside this list, first list is appetizer, main course and the beverage. And inside this list, we have another list. So this is list or no list. And the first list is our order list and second is unorder list. So you have to create this assignment. Then we will build this to-do list. So yeah, this is just an HTML. Once you complete this HTML assignments, and after learning CSS, we will come back to this assignment and redesign it. And after learning JavaScript, we will again come back to this assignment and add functionality to this. So for now, you will do nothing, just simple structure. Once you complete your HTML list assignment, it's time to learn about table. For that, we will create a simple table and where we will provide the caption, table caption. It contains the four columns. So you can create the table assignment once you complete this. Now it's the time to learn about the most important part of front-end development that is a user registration form. So we will deal about form in entire journey of front-end development. So we will we have to learn how to take input and all the input text, all the label and how to take. So this is our assignment and once you created this, um, you will go back and start learning CSS and after learning CSS we will come back and redesign something like that. You can add all the other fields also and once you complete uh, JavaScript you will again come back and make this add some functionality here. 
so this is a rollback like it's not like that you complete the assignment and it's done it's not like that you will again come again again and again and work on that assignment this will help you to understand what actually HTML do what CSS actually do what JavaScript actually do because you see your project um, with HTML only with HTML plus CSS only with HTML plus CSS plus JavaScript also so once you've done that the last assignment of HTML is to create your portfolio I know you haven't learned CSS now how to create how, 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 how you will create portfolio you have to create a basic portfolio where you will write all the links about the scale experience contact and this is the basic you can write hi my name is says using paragraph tag you can add your skills in the list you can add your education and experience contact me form simple so this is the basic portfolio once you learn the css we will again come back here so now once you complete this whole assignment hurry you have completed html you um, so now it's time to learn css module so we will come back and we will go to css module so in the CSS, again, first of all, we will learn about the CSS basics uh, through this video and check out the cheat sheet for revising whatever we have learned in that video. So this is the old code that discussed in that video. So you can see I have added comment to understand it in the better way. And if you are someone who already know HTML CSS basics, so you can skip the video and directly check out the cheat sheet. Uh, to divide everything and create the assignment or if you are someone who already know html css and also have knowledge of this thing you can directly jump to assignment because our our task is not to post video and stuck in the tutorial head our target is to focus more on assignment and creating products so once you have access this device from the css cheat sheet now it's time to task so what is the task of css after completing this video, we will come go back to our all the assignment that we have created and redesign. Yeah, whatever we have created in the HTML assignment, we have to redesign it. Don't think about the responsive design because we haven't learned the responsive design. We will learn it later. So now after redesign it, we will come back and work on the CSS black box. We will learn about the CSS black box, um, all the CSS container property item property and after watching this video you will again go to flatboard cheat sheet for revision it will hardly two minutes and then you have to create your first project that is portfolio so it will be your portfolio project where you can see everything um, your education section experience sector and it should be responsive because now you know so once you create your portfolio now it's time to create on LinkedIn and Twitter using the hashtag Frontend with Visa and tag me so that I can review and see the marks according to that. Now, uh, once you have understood the blackboard, you created the portfolio, it's time to learn about the CSS grid. So, CSS grid is used for the uh, complex uh, website uh, and the layout. So, here you will learn about the CSS grid and check it again, check the cheat sheet for revision, and this is the assignment that you are going to do. I know this is very basic because generally grid is used for complex so you can be, you build this basic task and yeah you are good to go if you want to create or build more grid layouts you can refer this link um, for that and I have added one more extra resources to learn about the media query hooray so as of now you have completed HTML assignment you have completed CSS assignment and redesigned everything whatever you have built till now so now what is remaining is to add functionality into your project so now let's start learning javascript but wait so before learning javascript we have to learn a very important skill that is git and github so git and github help us to uh, continue to open source project which help us to get more internship and job and many other opportunity so also git and github will help us to deploy our project on github so that we can share the live project link on our social media so as of now you have created the video of your portfolio website and share it on social media now what we will do we will deploy that project on github and share the live link for that we will learn about the git with basics of Git and GitHub, how to contribute to open source project, and you can refer this cheat sheet uh, to understand everything in detail. 
and uh, I have also added the guide of GitHub where you will understand how to contribute to open source, how to find a project, how to force the repository, clone, set up, remote, create a new branch, make new branch, track friends, commit changes, post changes, create a full request, wait for a request, celebrate once your uh, PR merge. Okay, so I have added this complete guide to check out these guides too. So once you have learned about the Git and GitHub, what's your next task here? You have to create your repository name Frontend Developer Essential and you have to push all of your assignment that you have built till now to that repository and then you have to you know, share your data profile using hashtag Frontend with this alone LinkedIn and Twitter so that I can review your uh, GitHub profile. Once, uh, one more thing is that uh, the last project that you have built, the portfolio project, you have to deploy it and share the link uh, on another on social media and share it with me so that I can review it. Okay, so now is the time to learn the main thing of front end development that is the heart of front end development JavaScript. So many people are not able to learn JavaScript or hate JavaScript because they don't know how to learn JavaScript. Basically, JavaScript works both on the client side and the server side. But before understanding how it works on client side or server side, you have to understand how what is JavaScript as a programming language itself. So we will learn about the variable, the arithmetic operators, the conditional statements, the loops, the data types in JavaScript, the function in JavaScript. And once we learn the programming concept of JavaScript, we can uh, wrap up the state sheet. You can refer this cheat sheet and it will helpful to revise everything. Like it is very compressive. I have added all the comments. Um, it takes lots of efforts to create this uh, cheat sheet. So if you like this video, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more such content. So you can find all the um, cheat sheets here. So once you have uh, refer, completed the video, uh, refer the cheat sheet, now it's time to learn uh, practice our javascript to practice uh, javascript we will use this awesome website js challenger so in this website you can see there is so many courses on the javascript fundamentals javascript array javascript objects javascript date and uh, set so you can go and write your code and once you write your code you can run your code and if it's correct yeah you can continue to mode such code so um, you have to solve this 80 plus questions and I would suggest it will take like 4 days and uh, yeah so uh, it may take more time as well so now once you complete the uh, understand javascript as a programming language now it's time to understand how javascript works and the client side and the browser for so that we will learn about the javascript DOM manipulation we will understand all the basics there and then divide it from the cheat sheet once you revise that Again, we will go to the same website and understand um, we will solve the problem on the JavaScript DOM. How to select a method, event and user interaction, DOM manipulation, DOM fundamentals. We will solve lots of questions. So once you solve this 100 plus question on JavaScript, you will you are able to understand everything about it and you are able to debug JavaScript very easily. So now once you created this uh, two things, now it's time to create fully working front-end development course uh, projects so how you will do so first of all we will build this google key clone okay so this is not another clone project so what you have to do is open my video at the left side open your editor at the right side start coding along with me and after watching this video i have given you three assignments and that is not the easier assignment it will take lots of time to build this so in the um, Google Keep Clone, I have built the basic app where you can add the node and the delete the node. You have to add this functionality to make your project unique. You will not copy the tutorial by line by line. You are also adding your own feature. Optionally, these are some additional features that you can add and it will take you time. If uh, And this is optional. If you are someone who has prior, prior experience of JavaScript, you can build these two features as well. So once you build this assignment, I would love to review your project. Do share it on LinkedIn and Twitter with friend and with Vishal and tag me so that I can review it. And once you learn this, it's time to learn about the Vectamore game. We will learn uh, JavaScript game, learn building projects by JavaScript game. 
so we will learn about the set timeout callback function set interval clear interval this video and once you watch the video you have to make it responsive project i have not added much design in that project you have to make it by your own then we will learn about the main and the most important part of javascript is that is asynchronous programming in javascript we will learn about the promises fetch api async await then catch and and how to with the github api wrapper project so in this project you are going to create a uh, github wrapper and then also these two tasks are not easier one you have to put lots of efforts to create this project so you have to write a filter where you can sort this project and here you have to put all the detail in the card something like that optionally optionally you can add a chart so i i know you haven't seen any business project where you are building charts in the project so this is an optional but i highly recommend to give it a try just check out this documentation it is very easy to use chart with the html cases in javascript only so once you create this project do the return social media or tag me and i will love to review it so this is all about the front end developer essential course batch 1 once you completed this you will be promoted to batch 2 where we will learn about the react and create so many projects on react and real world projects also one disclaimer that i want to give you is that this project is very assignment and uh, practical based uh, extensive so it will take lots of efforts and time so don't try to uh, build everything in just one week it will take at least two months to learn this basic concepts and master this but if you give your time and efforts and energy to this course you will master it and get a good fundamental knowledge of front end development so if this course excite you do uh, check out the whatsapp community link in the description also don't forget to follow me on linkedin and twitter for more such amazing content and do like this like and subscribe this video um, let me know are you excited for this uh, course or not so i will see you in the next video where we will discuss about the batch 2 of front end developer essential course 